Professional football juggling includes a variety of different motion skills that are highly agile and dynamic. Players can seamlessly transition between skills such as foot juggling, foot stall, or around the world. Kinematic spaced approach has limitations. It can only generate predefined transitions and follow strict patterns. Sliding artifact and unrealistic ball movement can also be observed. Our system can generate physics-based soccer juggling skills with reinforcement learning, using a novel control graph. Layer-wise mixture of experts are used for significantly improved learning. We also propose an adaptive random walk in the control graph for auto-adaptive curriculum. Our system can generate a wide range of skills and their transitions. We divide a juggling skill into two stages. In the down stage, the soccer ball falls until it hits a body part. In the up stage, the soccer ball rises until the vertical velocity is zero. We design control graphs, where a control node, corresponds to a stage, and edges indicates transition between stages. We can design many skills with a control graph, such as foot juggling, and around the world. Transitions between skills can be defined via directed edges. A policy observes the state of the character and the ball, as well as the current node and upcoming two nodes in a control graph. The policy is rewarded for generating motions that look like the reference motion. The ball is only allowed to make contact with specific body parts, at the end of downstage or at the beginning of upstage. Adaptive random walk in the control graph allows us to train for many skills and their transitions. We make use of a layer-wise mixture of experts for efficient learning. During training, the probability of sampling an edge, is adaptively updated based on the current capability of the policy. This adaptive random walk strategy improves learning performance. A standard mixture of experts, or MOE, make use of multiple neural networks, each computing the action independently. A gating network is then used to blend these actions together. A linear MOE layer is similar to the standard MOE, with each expert being a linear layer. These layers are stacked together to form the layer-wise MOE. The same gating network is used to blend the output of all MOE layers. In our multi-skill training, layer-wise MOE outperforms alternatives such as output MOE and multi-layer perceptron. We observe that different skills generate different gating patterns with our layer-wise MOE architecture. User can specify any feasible skill transitions at runtime. We show this long sequence to demonstrate the reliability of the learned controllers. Without contact constraints, the policy fails to learn the desired skill. Without foot position constrained, policy fails to learn around the world. We test the robustness of our policies by applying a constant force on the ball. Our policy can also juggle objects of different shapes. We can also rotate the observation to generate turning motions, 